The following has been developed by state and provincial agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Technology. Together, serving education. Just, Did uh, we do a bad job or something? Oh, no, no, Bobby. It, it's not that. I mean, you guys have, uh, you've always done a good job. It's just that uh, he beat your prize. By how much? 50 cents. He's cutting it for $1.50? We'll match that, Mr. Freeman. We want your business. We'll do it for a dollar and a quarter. We need the money. We're saving it to buy a power mower. Well, you know, it's not just the price, kids. It, it, it was this whole approach. Like what? Well, it's just real professional. Like how? Well, he said, Mr. Freeman, I guess he'd heard about me from around the neighborhood. I'm Buddy Biggs, he said. I just moved in down the street. And I'd like to cut your lawn for a penny a square meter. A penny a what? What's a square meter? No, well, that's how he did it. Ain't that some type of sales pitch? Told me my lawn was 150 square meters and he'd cut it for $1.50. Hey, mark my word, kid. That boy is going places. How'd he measure? What was it? Square meters? <laughs> he used a formula. A, a formula? <laughs> so, Shirley and Bobby are up against a boy who knows how to use a formula to measure the area of a lawn. This is the shape of Mr. Freeman's lawn. It's a rectangle. And the area is the amount of surface the rectangle covers. How could you measure that? It's not fair. He must be at least 14. And he's even got a secret formula on us. Here it is! Formula. A general fact or rule expressed in symbols? What's that mean? Beats me. Another thing I don't get is this thing about square meters. I mean, a meter I can see. Here it is. But what's a square meter? Wait a minute. What if you think about square and meter together? Yeah? Say this is a square, okay? Well, it's a little longer. Just say it's a square. Same length on all four sides. But it's not. Pretend. Okay, so what? Now say it's a meter long on all four sides. But it's not. But if it were, wouldn't this be a square meter? You mean like... That must be what a square meter is. But so what? Look. Say the top of my drafting table is Mr. Freeman's lawn. Mr. Freeman's lawn? It's flat and it's a rectangle just like his lawn. But he doesn't live on a hill. Would you please just pretend? Okay, now this is the lawn. And these are square meters. Two. Three. Four, five. You could count how many square meters it takes to cover a lawn. You're right. Hey, did you two hear what happened to Herb Tompkins last night? Uh-uh. What? He went bowling down at the Tropicana Lanes. So? He dropped a bowling ball on his foot and broke three bones. Oh, gee. Oh, no. He's got a pretty big lawn. Yeah. Shirley and Bobby haven't figured out the formula for measuring the area of a rectangle yet, but they have figured out two vital clues. What a square meter is, 
and how square meters or square anything can cover a surface, like your TV screen. You measure area in square units, and you can count the number of squares or parts of squares that it takes to cover a surface. Cross your fingers. Good afternoon, Mr. Tompkins. Uh, hello, Bobby. Shirley. Gee, we're awfully sorry to hear about your foot, sir. Uh, yeah, I was a real klutz. I'm hoping you're feeling better. I couldn't get people to stop laughing at me. Even the doc in the emergency room couldn't wipe the grin off his face. Hey, how's your arm coming, Bobby? The cast comes off in a couple weeks. Gee, you're luckier than I am. Well, sir, we thought you might need somebody to mow your lawn. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Looks like it could use it, too. How much would you charge? A penny a square meter. And the trimming's no extra, either. <sighs> Say, that doesn't sound too bad. How much would it be altogether? We'll, we'll get, get back, back to you. you. 322. 323. 324. I'll do it for a penny a square meter, too, sir. But I'll do a much better job. Okay, go ahead and measure it. Hey, what's he doing here? I don't know, but we better hurry. Square meters, sir. That's six dollars and sixty cents. Six dollars and sixty cents. Okay. I gotta be fair, kids. Fair. Are these square enough for you? Yeah. All he did was measure one row, then the other. He didn't even have a square meter clock. Just a meter stick. But how'd that tell him square meters? He didn't measure anything in the middle. Maybe we could learn how to move faster. Nobody could move that fast. No. This was us. We measured one row. But there, there was more than four square meters in each row. Pretend, okay? I'm just trying to get the idea. Okay. Then we added another row. That's two times a row. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Um, I said that was two rows. No, you said that was two times a row. So? So you multiplied. So? So? Look. This is four times multiplied by what? Three. Yeah, four times three. And now? Four times four. That would be 16 squares, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right. So what's the idea? You can measure the area of a rectangle by multiplying the number of squares one way times the number of squares the other. Let me repeat that. You can measure the area of a rectangle by multiplying the number of squares in one direction times the number of squares in the other. 5 times 3 equals, yes, 15 square units. The same number you get if you count. In fact, you don't even need to start with squares. You can just multiply the measure of length one way times the measure of width the other. And that is the formula for measuring the area of a rectangle. Area equals the measure of length times the measure of width. And remember, you always measure area in square units.
Once upon a time, there was a family of witches. Mother Witch and her two daughters, Griselda and Wanda. One day, their mother called them to her side. Oh, I have to leave you when I die. There's my library of books on magic spells, my magic wand, and a small plot of land. Wanda can have the wand. I'll take the books. Oh, and I'd better take the land as well because I'm bigger. That wouldn't be fair. We'll have a contest. I'll leave my land to whichever of you can tell me its exact area. I'll give you a double hint. A bit of magic and a bit of math. First, the magic. The answer to the problem lies both in the magic books and in the magic wand. And now the math. You can measure the area of something by covering it with squares. Of course! And these books are square! Oh, dear. How can I cover all that land with just one wand? Wanda holds the wand against one of the magic books, and then she gets an idea. Meanwhile, Griselda starts covering the plot of land with books. <laughs> it's impossible! I've got dozens more books to put down before I finish covering the land! Thanks to the magic wand, I know exactly what the area is. 96 square meters. Well done, Wanda! The land is yours. How did you do it? How did you cover all that land with just one magic wand? I didn't use the wand to cover the land. I used it to measure one of your magic books. And I found that the wand was exactly the same length as the sides of all the books. One meter. So what? So? The wand was actually a meter stick, and the books were square meters. Again, so what? Well, then I watched you laying down all the books. You got to the end of one side, and then you went along the top, and I realized you could have stopped right there. All you had to do was count the number of squares along the side, 12, and the number of rows along the top, 8. 8 rows of 12 squares is 12 multiplied by 8 which equals 96 square meters. But of course you didn't need to use any books at all. What? Area equals the measure of length times the measure of width, or 12 times 8, which is 96 square meters. Or A equals L times W. A equals L times W? That doesn't sound like a magic spell to me. It sounds more like a math formula. It doubles for both. It's both math and magic. Ninety-six times. One. Hey, where's your little rag, huh? Hey, you two punks don't think you're gonna beat me out of this job, do you? Just ya? sit there and watch this for a while and sing. You get 96 meters, too. What? Mm. Going kind of slow, aren't ya? And 96 on the other side. Ninety-six meters times ninety-two meters equals eight thousand eight hundred thirty-two. Eighty-eight dollars and thirty-two cents. All right. Eighty-eight dollars and thirty-two cents, sir. Now wait a minute. Are you two with him? No, sir. We charge the same price, a penny a square meter. Well, I'll tell you what. You do a good job, and I'll pay you 90 bucks. All right! MathWorks is a component of the Mathematics for the 80s project and is supported in part by Exxon Education Foundation.